time. No, no the second that, day that, we saw them yesterday. I didn't see them yesterday. That one there that's lying down looks a bit funny. Yeah. They don't normally lie down like that, do they? I wonder if she's all right. She's dead. No, her leg keeps moving now and again. It's the 27th of March and uh, we've had some gorgeous... I'm here! Ow, that was so loud. <laughs> we, I'll have to turn the volume down for that. We um, have had some really nice weather, really warm, and today it's so cold. You just get six shots in this. Bill's whole body is aching, he tells me today. This is a regular thing from Bill. He... Uh, he, he has funny aches and pains, but he's really hyper aware of them. But, of course, now it's, it's really worrying when someone says they ache all over. Hopefully it's just Bill being Bill. We've had five full days of homeschool and it's been really hard for Ted. Everything's been online. There's been ginormous amount of workload and he's completely overwhelmed i'm overwhelmed you're not overwhelmed yeah. you're a lazy slug i'm gonna give up trying to record because these two are wittering and they clearly need my attention although i know as soon as i stop talking i turn the phone off they won't utter a syllable well so we're all getting a bit crabby with one another in that, um, you know, there's a general squabbling and they're not fair and he's doing this thing we're going on. We're all up and it's getting quite annoying. It's nice while we're at school. Oh, I've got that on film. Excellent. So, um, and also Toby's stressed off his box because of um, well, yeah. just trying to stop the business from folding and keep... Lots of people in employment, so that's all a bit He's on worrying. his clogs. <sighs> I've just asked Wilf to just give me two minutes and stop interrupting. And now he's ran off in a fit of peak. There he is. Yes, brilliant! Brilliant! Yes, as I said to Toby this morning, Love, when you get your chocolate out the fridge and you break it, it's going everywhere. There's chocolate all over the utility room worktop and all inside the fridge. And instead of him saying, oh, sorry, love, I'll, I'll be more aware next time, he got really cross and snotty. <laughs> I think we're all going to kill each other. <sighs> Of course, now I'm feeling guilty that I said to Wilf, just give, give me a second. I've been chatting now for 51 seconds. He could have given me that, but no, he's ran off. Ran off crying. And now I feel like a total heel. Grr. We're very wonky here, but that's because my tripod is broken and there's not much chance of getting a new one. I mean, I know I could order one from Amazon, but quite honestly, <sighs> you're hearing all sorts of things about this virus being able to live for such a long time on metal and plastic and what have you that I just don't really want anything coming to the house that's not necessary. Good timing, Bunny. Good timing, Bunny. Good timing. Timing with your toy. Yeah. She's so cute. You're so cute. She's so cute, look. Little dog. Um the state of me. I look so tired. Hello, Bert. Oh, no, not Bunny, you're Margot. I was just cleaning Margot's eyes and um, she's got a sore on her eye. Your poor thing. Keep an eye on that. Boom, boom. Right, I... Ow. Ow, baby, ow. Oh. 
just had an alert come up on my phone. Prime Minister Boris Johnson tests positive for Corona, I think it said. Oh. Right, Margot, you have to stop this. You can go up there, darling. You go down, you go down. That's enough. I just wanted to do a quick mini pod. Uh, we're back from our walk. The kids are watching a uh, educational program for half an hour. So I thought I'd take this opportunity while it was quite peaceful. Toby is on the phone at the moment in the other room, but he's not shouting. Normally he's quite loud on the phone. So here we are. Okay, number one, I wanted to talk about the test knit hat that I've been sharing on my stories on Instagram. It's the Alter Hat by Emily Yarnbrary. It's named after her great aunt. And I did have a pom-pom on this, but because it's quite a slouchy hat and the pom-pom was quite heavy, it was not a great marriage. So I've taken the pom-pom off. It's got this gorgeous pico edge here. It's got one of these sewn brim jobbies, then some extremely beautiful and effective, but really easy lace. And then there's these lines that go up. And yeah, of course I messed it up. Look, messed it up there. I, I messed up lots of things, but um, the hat pattern calls for fingering and mohair, but um, I completely misread the pattern originally and I started to knit it with the leftovers from my Whitmore sweater which I must show you properly as well because I just love it I wear it I was wearing it all the time but now I'm just wearing gardening clothes um but I misread the pattern and I got the I had the wrong needle size and I cast on the wrong amount of stitches because I'm a fool so I got really fed up with knitting with the same yarn. So I said to Emily, do you mind if I try it with a DK? Go ahead. And it's worked out brilliantly. So you can easily knit this hat with a DK. It's cute, isn't it? So there we go. There's my hat. And it was just Deep Stash um, Cash Soft, I think. Rowan Cash Soft. And uh, it does make me giggle because it does look like I'm wearing a bit of a bandage, but hey ho. Um, I've been setting up a little pouch for my knitting rendezvous with Franca at three o'clock every day while the weather's fine. Although she is looking into whether she can continue doing that because she's read somewhere that you are allowed to exercise your dog, but you are not allowed to get in your car drive somewhere to exercise your dog which is a bit tricky because actually Franca won't see a soul apart from me in my paddock but if she were to walk to her nearest open green space she will see dozens of people so it's kind of safer for her and everyone else if she comes up to the paddock so in this bag from Hide and Hammer, which I absolutely bloom in love. It's just when you're using it, oh, it's this lovely canvas. It almost feels waxed, but it's not waxed. You fold it down. You've got a little bucket there to knit out of. Mugs. So in there, I've got some, um, hey bunny got some of this which is West Yorkshire Spinners Fleece something or another um, can't remember what it's called it's basically a hundred percent sheepy wool my friend Julie for my Christmas present birthday present last year stop whacking the tripod with your tail made me a beautiful scarf that I wear all the time. So I went and got some more wool so that I could make some accessories to go with it. So we've got, oh, bang, you're not making it easy for me. Go away. 
So I've made a hat. I've made one of these simple berets before in fingering weights. And um, now I've made it with this fleecy, whatever it's called, hat. It is much more beret. <laughs> It's, um, I really like it. And so does Bunny, don't you, Bunny? You love it, don't you? Ow. Go away. So, oh, <laughs> Only you can see this dog. You're so funny. What are you doing? You just lay there. So now I've got a hat, I've got a scarf, and they go beautifully with the coat I wear most. And now I'm going to make some podster mix. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I'm not going to do individual fingers, I'm just going to do some rib. Oh my goodness. This is what I'm dealing with. Ugh. Okay, she's flattened my back. Right. <laughs> oh. Now my camera's fallen out of the tripod. We will continue anyway. Look what the dogs have done. Look what they've done to me. There we go. Pods to mitts. But I'm not going to do the fingers. I'm just going to do ribs. And they're convertible. Convertible ones. So they can be wrist warmers or... Mittens. I think I'm really wasting my time doing this. I'm not paying attention to where the camera is. The dogs are going bananas. <sighs> so anyway, I've got that little bag set up, ready to go. But I always find that I need to concentrate when I start a project. So I'm going to today continue either knitting the band of my swoon or I'm going to go I'm going to go back to these socks the yarn is beaches and bird songs feathered weathered beach hut I've been knitting these for some time now I love it and this was contrast mini that I bought um the yarn originally this yarn was a gift but I've bought quite a few from her since because it is just lovely. So I should continue knitting these. And just going to put the camera back up. Hold on. Okay. Uh, and in this little bag, this is the bag. Franca and I made this on our leather hand making, leather handbag making thing that she treated me to for my birthday Christmas in May. <coughs> last year oh, we had a brilliant brilliant weekend oh bunny yeah my stitching was not the best but it's cool isn't it i am hoping that it will weather in a really attractive way it's a very creamy pink beige kind of color at the moment and i'm hoping that when it weathers, it will weather nicely. I've got a feeling it's just, might end up a bit grubby, but you know, you've got to use these things, haven't you? So, um, just want to quickly talk about these socks because I want to wear them. This is the Soul Sisters pattern by Amy Loudon and Jules Hill. My chums. There you go, that's the old shale pattern. Actually can't see it particularly well on camera. Um, it's got a Godet heel, really the easiest heel ever to knit. I should put these on my feet really. I'll show you them when they are on my feet at some point, I'm not doing it now. Now the yarn was yarn that I dyed myself. I got it from, in, in a kit from Rosie's Moments on Etsy. And she only lives down the road in um, Winscombe, I think, which is not, not very far from here. And I dyed it with Kool-Aid and I dyed it pink. And then I knitted the Pebble Beach shawl. And I did, <laughs> look at that dog. 
and I didn't like the pink. So I podcasted about it and Amy got in touch and said, Gay, no, I'll over dye it for you. Maybe a charcoal grey or a navy, what do you fancy? And I said, I'll go for a navy. So she dyed it, she sent it back to me and it looked so beautiful. And yet I still wasn't wearing it. I did not like the shape of the shawl on me. I think I'd done it wrong somehow and it was just not hanging nicely at all. So I wasn't wearing it and then one day I thought, right, unravel it. So I unraveled it. My friend Naomi and I, we were at um, Yo Valley Canteen together and we just started unraveling it. <laughs> it felt so rebellious. And I loved how the, look at that, yarn head, yarn head. I love how with the unraveling, the way it highlights how some parts of the, <clears throat> come on, some parts are dyed and some parts were protected by the stitches being close together. So it's got this lovely mild effect. I really like it. So it felt right that I should knit a sock pattern that Amy was involved in. Look at that. I just love it. So I wanted to tell you about those so that I could wear them. Something I've noticed when I wear my wellies and I go on a walk or I'm digging in the garden is that if I wear socks with Stellina in them, they really rub my feet and they really make my feet sweaty. Does anybody else find that? So I don't think I'll be knitting socks with Stellina in anymore. But that's okay because my tastes have changed. I'm, I'm not so bothered about sparkly stellina -y stuff now because it's not part of my taste and also it's not very eco is it because it's plastic right i'm going there because i've waffled for ages i think that would be me done for the bunny bunny come here Right, that's me done for today's vlog. I think we've had enough rambling from me. And um, <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. Such a special girl. <laughs> you too. You're funny.